Today I'm starting a new series that I'm calling Monthly Illustrations. I'll come up with a better name later. Welcome back to a new video guys. We're finally digital again. Um, it's no longer traditional. I did really enjoy it, but I do find myself very comfortable with digital so I'm going back to that for now uh, but yeah as I said in the beginning of the video I am starting a new series that I'm calling monthly illustrations for some reason because it's easy uh, but I did figure out for my channel that I would like something more structured because I do a lot of stuff uh, I do big illustrations I do random character design I do some traditional stuff sometimes so I thought I would schedule it and make some, a few series that can kind of keep me on track sometimes I will divert from it but for the most part I will keep to it. So the first ride of every month will be the um, monthly illustration where I will be illustrating what that m particular month means to me or what I think of when I think of that month. And um, I know this Friday is second in November but um, second Friday in November but uh, it's five Fridays in November so it kind of makes sense in the end. Um, and then after that, the second Friday in November, this third plan, uh, we will do a random creature or character design because I do really enjoy that and I know most of my um, subscribers also really enjoy it so I want to keep that in as a scheduled thing. Um, the next Friday, uh, the fourth, the third Friday in every month, I will be doing a children's book illustration and so another big illustration in addition to the first one. Uh, that could be random, that could be but it has to be a character with a background, uh, it has to be a full spread, so that's pretty important. And then the last Friday of every month I'll be trying to do a challenge video, something I haven't done before, or just coming up with some fun stuff that could be very random at times. Um, so that's going to be my new schedule, uh, it will be themed a little bit, so December month will of course be kind of holiday, Christmasy, uh, a lot of fun, like holiday stuff uh, and then January we'll see what we can come up with. So yes with my uh, schedule out of the way and now you know I will be putting it somewhere so you can see it later uh, we can finally talk about my illustration. Um, as you know, of course you know, this November and I had to figure out what November, like what I think of when I think November or what I could make an illustration of and it was kind of hard because uh, November is the first First, this is it the first? I think it's the last of the autumn month. I think it's not a winter month, but to me, it's still very cold and crisp. October is kind of the the orange month, where it's warm and like well, it's not warm, but it's like warm colors and a lot of wind and stuff. But November is kind of weird. It's between the holiday season and Halloween. Um, and I was trying to look through like different mythologies and stuff and see what they they have that I could take from and I came up with this thing where in north of Norway um, the sun disappears uh, around this time um, it goes away for a month or two and then it comes back in January and when in old times they actually prayed for the, the sun goddess to come back in January they had this priest go up on the mountain to confirm that the sun goddess was finally coming up again and I was thinking well if November is when the sun goddess goes to sleep and disappears then maybe we can do something with that so basically this frost goddess is kind of hiding our sun goddess away like have a rest <laughs> and that's what's happening and I also feel like um, November is kind of the month where it's getting cold. It's getting really crisp, the frost is setting in a little bit and it's just, it's not freezing yet but it's there and I want the sky to be kind of like half um, like sundown, sun, <laughs> sundown, sun, sundown, sundown, like colors. Um, I did take a picture that I took those colors from, from my actual view uh, when the sun was going down, so I thought that would be really nice uh, and really calm and kind of just pretty. 
So I actually did have another sketch for this illustration where the goddess was kind of just standing in the middle of the frame and you're having the sunset and you're having the sun and some trees and stuff and I'll show you at the screen right now. But it was feeling really flat so I kind of just scrapped it and I wanted some more storytelling to it. Um, it just felt like I was trying to do one of those pretty girls drawings and I really didn't want to do that. I wanted some more... His, like history story whatever you want to call it into the picture so I ended up av adding this flying fox griffin I think I figured out in the end and I think I want to make the guy in the back kind of like a wizard <laughs> it could be cool if I could keep them like traveling around visiting different places for every illustration and I, I really like the, the fox griffin because I've been wanting to do that for a while but I didn't do it for Inktober so now I'm doing it with this one. Um, of course red colors is horrible to work with when it's uh, in a blue environment so I have to really mute them down uh, and make them look suitable for the illustration. And after all that talking I don't have much left time to talk about the actual drawing of the illustration. You have been seeing it from start to finish. I know there's some parts that are cut out but I have left in like the most interesting bits that you do want to see. Uh, I know my for myself I do get kind of bored when I watch speed paint so I skip and I was trying to kind of make this look like you were skipping through it, but you weren't really. <laughs> Did you see that coming? Um, but anyway, guys, you do know my process if you have watched my videos before, where I do the sketch, a little bit more of a fine sketch. And actually for this one, I did the sketch, color exploration, line art, color blocking, and then all the other stuff. And then right now I'm doing the effects, uh, which I'm adding in the fog and the clouds, and just trying to make image come to life basically but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this illustration um i don't know what you guys think of when you think of november or when you're in the november month so if you guys want to tell me down the the comment section that'd be awesome because i really want to hear what you guys associate with this cold kind of month uh, which is in between autumn and winter uh, and also I want to know what you do associate with December, so I can prepare something for them. Uh, but of course that's a little bit off, and I'm pretty sure most people will say Christmas, gifts, family, uh, and all of that. Actually when I think of it, you guys have Thanksgiving in November, so you probably think of Thanksgiving. So sorry if I didn't do that, I'm not familiar with the holiday unfortunately. Uh, but anyway guys, I hope you like the illustration and I hope you like my new schedule. I will be writing it down below so you can like just see it again. And then um, yeah, I will see you guys the next Friday. Bye bye!